What's up, Capricorn? It's the Soul here. And Capricorn, uh, we're going to look at some energies here for you starting May 28th and ending June 4th, 2023. Happy Memorial Day to all the Capricorns out there. I hope you have a safe and blessed holiday. This week, Capricorn, I'm using the Madhouse Tarot to deliver your energies here. No reversals. Without further ado, let's get underway to see what is the potential energy coming up for you this week. Energies for Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, let's begin and see what's going on here. We got the four swords taking a break, needing a rest, rest, relaxation, rejuvenation. We got the page of cups. This is pregnancy news, job offer, contract offer, childbirth. We got the ten of swords. It's a completion of some sort of energy, inpatient, outpatient, surgical procedures. King of swords, you take a major action, making major moves this week, possibly. Uh, you're communicating, so this is part of communication. So maybe you're gathering information and then becoming clear about that information in order to um, take action or make a decision. Then we have the tower. Now you just received the tower after Sagittarius just received the tower. So this is just the second sign has received the tower this week. Uncontrollable uh, energies here, uh, but we'll get back here to the tower. And four of cups is showing up here. That could be uh, anything uh, involving the holiday, getting together with family members or friends, and and just you know uh, socializing. Um, being happy, equal number of cups, what you put out there is what you're going to get back. Following that, we have the, uh, oh shit, now we got the three of swords. So I always say, when the tower of the three of swords, nine of swords shows up in the spread for the sign that I'm reading for, it's here from somebody, okay? Three of swords here. Now, this could be indicative of a new relationship that was already in formation, but it could be a uh, early split. Um, maybe the relationship or the person that, you know, you got with, uh, about a month ago, because I usually get about a month's time with the Page of Cups, it didn't work out too well. Or you found out that this person was already involved because this is a third party that may be in play. Three of Swords here is about pending divorces, divorces, um, you know, three painful choices to make. Couples that are still together may be at a distance that separates them and that creates the um, heartache and the grief. It could be a pet loss, not physical death of the pet, but the pet gets away and the family is left grieving. Following the, uh, could be family uh, conflict. It could be uh, platonic conflict. Then we have the star card. The star is going to take down the energy of the tower here. And I was hoping that another uh, major arcana showed up here. Like uh, Sagittarius had the tower to start their energy off. But they had the emperor. They had the um, judgment card. They had, a, they had like four other major arcanas. So the star card here is about hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. So whatever those wishes and those hopes that you may have this week, Capricorn, it may be uh, realized. Star card is social networking for me, so it could be a greater expansion of um, social networking, whatever your favorite social energies is. And it could be anything related to looking for work, you know, changing careers, could be looking for romance. Um, just make sure that whatever is going on here, in spite of the tower's uh, possible influence here, that your energy is not scattered all over the place. Just focus on one or two things here, all right? And you should be all right. You may meet somebody famous. You may meet somebody famous. Um, and it also could be an aspect of some sort of psychic awareness or psychic development being expressed here. Following the star card here, uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles, your own energies. Now, the Ten of Pentacles has been showing up a great deal. So this is the card of abundance, okay? This is the card of wealth. This is the card of inheritance. So you could be, uh, for some of you, there could be under the King of Swords. It could be that there is someone... Um, someone who... Well, this could be a financial advisor, as a matter of fact, so you may be seeking financial advising. This could be still uh, your boss who gives you a substantial bonus or pay raise. This could be anything in the form of an inheritance. The absence of uh, money, I always say you're still feeling abundant because if you're the single Capricorn, you're taking care of your own needs and your own wants, but you're not selfish. 
Uh, if you are in a relationship, you're both taking care of each other's needs and wants. If you're the gambler, the risk taker, casino runs, lottery plays, this is big money coming in, but play responsibly. Underneath that tower, now we have the eight of swords. Eight of swords is anxiety, worry, or fear. Um, things that you feel that you can't control, but you can, even though the guy is in the restraint, straight jacket here and trying to be fed. Always say that you always have to make sure that whatever um, the eight of swords energy means for you, if it is expressed, is it real? Or is it something that you're uh, thinking about, um, you know, playing out that movie inside of your head and what you may be thinking about playing the movie inside of your head has not even been expressed or experienced. But this is what you may be, you know, conjuring up. And then I always say to Capricorn nine times out of ten, it never turns out the way that we played it out in our head. So be very careful here. Uh, with this eight of swords but if it is real tackle it as soon as possible you don't want to uh, leave it unresolved because it then leads up to the nine of swords and that's creating more problems for you okay in your shadow we have the justice card yep here we go more tower takedown so this is the justice card feeling at peace feeling liberty or liberalized uh someone could be getting married in front of the justice of the peace now again the justice of the peace um could also represent someone dealing with the three of swords energies you know this could be final divorce coming through scales are balanced um workman's comp with the ten of pentacles being rewarded for that it could be also other lawsuits or litigations uh, coming forth okay so whatever was out of balance for you now comes back into balance anything um that was not possibly in your favor uh, will be in your favor this week. Then we have the Seven of Wands when it comes to that uh, King of Swords. Whatever major decisions or actions you're going to take this week, Capricorn, you have to follow through. Uh, don't get yourself caught up in, um, you know, changing your mind or allowing others to help persuade you to change your mind because this is my regret card. You will end up with a regret. This is standing your ground, taking your own actions um, that you need to take. Ace of Cups here is pregnancy news, job offer, okay? It could be childbirth. Someone goes deeper in terms of their uh, love and affection towards you or you're about to do that to them. Um, we don't have the death card, so I'm not seeing second chances when it comes to um, relationships, but anything is possible. So this is the new formation of romantic relationships or platonic friendships. Um, the whole aspect of divulging some sort of emotional energy towards others, Capricorn, is a um, possibility, a high possibility. And then also, too, it could be that someone is definitely going to express how they feel about you. Now, of course, this is, you know, open general reading, so it could be family. It could be, uh, you know, certainly romantic partners and definitely friendships. But, yes, we have a lot of stuff that comes out with the Ace of Cups. And so it could be the job offer, pregnancy, news, childbirth, new relationships that are formed. All right. So this is what I have for you, um, Capricorn. Now, I just took a look here. Even though we have the social card, the rest, relax, you know, I'm sorry, the rest, relaxation, rejuvenation here, um, Capricorn, before I close out, is you having to detach or take a break from something. It could be your work. Uh, just take a day off or something like that. Or if you have some time. Um, you know, centered around the holiday is telling you here to rest. Okay. Rest up here a little bit, uh, reclaiming your independence and your happiness. Uh, you may be, uh, for some others planning future, uh, traveling, not that traveling is not going to take place with, uh, the majority of you this week, but someone else is planning something, um, in terms of future traveling, we don't have any of the uh, movement cards here. So someone's planning a trip in the future. Page of Cups is just like the Ace of Cups, job offer, pregnancy news, childbirth. Even though it's under uh, over top of the Three of Swords, it still would represent new relationships being formed, platonic, romantic. Ten of Swords is completion of energy here for you, right? But what I was about to say here... Um, as I, you know, added on to the Four of Swords energy that I didn't talk much about, is the Four of Cups over here mirrors the Tower. Now, because this here always represents social energy for me, then we have to be careful if uh, Capricorn was socializing and then there's some sort of rift that goes on between, um, you know, say family or friends or somebody starts a, 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 
So, you know, somebody could be starting something at a um, Memorial Day function. Like, you know, an argument or somebody's upset about something. Okay. Now, it may not be major, but, you know, with the Tower's energy, it may lead to some sort of argument and or fight. So, you know, just pay attention. Don't get yourself involved. And, um, you know, let the drama play out as it be. All right. So this is and furthermore, the tower still would represent earthquakes. OK, mass shootings, all the things that I always mention it could be that you experience some sort of increase of crime in your own community. You may hear or receive shocking news. It's, you know, still the tower may not be something that personally uh, impacts or affects you, but you might hear the shocking news of something or someone involving someone else. And when I say that, it could be. Just for instance, I just found out uh, later yesterday that, you know, uh, the infamous, you know, Tina Turner had passed away, you know, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. So when you have these famous people and you, you idolize them and stuff like that, you don't ever think that they're going to die or pass away. The week before it was uh, Brown, Jim Brown, and he was like 83 or 84. So it's like, wow, I grew up you know, with these uh, energies and whatnot. And now we're at that phase in our time in our life that they've gotten older and, you know, they end up passing away. So life continues to evolve. We have to move on. And that's just the way it is. Yes, yeah, sadden, but, you know, it was her time. When everybody, you know, has their time to pass, it, it will occur. Nothing you can do about it. Anyway, I'm not turning this into a morbid conversation. So this is just me, at Capricorn, interpreting the cards. Take what resonates for you. You guys definitely be safe this week. Always emphasize safety with the Tower's presence. Enjoy the holiday. Uh, keep smiling for me. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. I'll talk to you soon.